Hey guys, welcome to this interesting session of ASP.NET Core where we are going to generate and download Excel report with just use of five line of code. Guys, this will be an interesting session, very simple with just five line of code. We can generate our data table to SQL to Excel report in our .NET Core Web API. So for this, I'm going to use .NET Core Web API 7.0. I'm going to create a new project. After completion of this project, I'm going to give the project in the Google Drive and the link button link in the video description. So you can also download and check it out. Guys, before starting the session, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon for future notification. And, and one request, if you ended up liking my video, give me a like and share this video with your friends. Let's get started. So for this session, I am using closed XML NuGet package. I have already created and with .NET Core 3.1 Excel Seed Generation, .NET Core 6.0 Excel Seed Generation. I will give this both video link on the video description. You can also watch. So for today, I'm going to use .NET Core 7.0 and much more different way. This is a different way and this is also a different way. And now I'm going to showcase you one more different way. So let's create a web application. So I'm keeping Excel data demo. Okay. Click on next. For now, I am not keeping HTTPS. I no need of Swagger for now. Keeping 7.0 standard term support. Click on create. The first step is completed. We created our .NET Core Web API application. Second, we are going to install the NuGet package. Closed XML. Let it complete. Guys, to create this kind of videos, it takes time effort uh, yeah if you do like give me a like so that it will encourage me a lot give me a comment in the comment box i am getting so many comments on my ascents okay i am trying to actualize it or accurate it you can say okay our application has got created so now straight forward we go to our tool new get package manager manage new get package for solutions here we can browse for closed xml done next select on this install accept successfully install yes it got successfully installed next thing is here you can see i'm going to add one more controller uh, if we run now, the application will come the weather forecast controller with some dummy data. Run the application and see after the NuGet package installed, application is running fine or not. Guys, one more request. Don't skip the ads. It's encouraging me also. So please, the ads. So you can see weather forecast is coming, right? So let's stop the applications, close this new get page and go to controller R. I'm going to add one more controller here. Uh, API controller, click on add. See here, I'm going to give a name as test YT or test excel controller so this excel start for excel file we are going to generate the excel report okay no need of this routing for now now public i'm going to create a api this will be my
Okay, this will be my route. Next task is I am going to create a data table and generate to Excel. So I have created a data table DT. So we need using system dot data where I have added the column name, total marks, and roll number. Next is I am going to add the rows. So I am going to straight forward add the rows. No difficulty, straight forward. The standard one class. So the standard one code like this, <laughs> right? The class one standard. Okay. Simple. Created data table. Added the column. Now. Created row, added the row, created row, added row. The six row I have added here. Now, task is to generate my Excel. This is the all every, everything Excel task is just pipeline of code. We'll see. So, here I have written like using Excel workbook. This is coming from close xml.xl.xl workbook. A object name Excel workbook, the object dot workseek dot add. Here DT, DT is my data table where I am getting the rows and column. Inside this, after DT, we need to specify the sheet name. So I am giving, let's say, student mark sheet. Right? Now using memory stream, return file. So memory stream save as stream, return file that stream to RA with a long application type vnd dot upon xml format office document dot spreadsheet ml dot sheet okay <laughs> okay that one right now my api is done everything is done just run the application we will hit this api and we will see the excel sheet is generating or not with the data we have added with the name total mark and the roll number so i have added all six record wait for the browser to run yeah okay so my api name is generate excel so if i go to here and hit so you can see it's downloaded right directly i can open the file and we will see how it is opening right six record from here i added and here is the automatic generated excel sheet just as i said five plan of code so guys i hope you like this and it will help you to develop in your applications and your softwares friends Please do give your suggestion and comment in the comment box. I really appreciate it. And share this video with your friends. Thank you very much.